Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to add a chart into Google Slides. So first thing you're going to want to do, click go to Google Slides. Once you're in there, you're going to want to open up whatever your presentation is. So I'm just going to make up a blank one here. And then now that I have my presentation open, I'm going to want to go ahead, you know, make sure your presentation has like a title and stuff like that. By whoever, blah, blah, blah. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add a new slide because we're going to get right to how to make a chart. So you're going to want to click new slide button. Now that we have a new slide, let's give it a title. I'm just going to call this favorite pizza, right? And then right here is where I'm going to insert my chart. So you're going to first want to go to the insert button up at the top and then click chart. Now you have a couple different choices. So go ahead, you know, feel free to pick whatever one you want for your, whatever you're using, you're doing this for. I'm going to pick a pie chart. And now my pie chart is inserted. However, it's kind of small, so I'm going to resize it. So at the bottoms where these little blue squares are, you can resize. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. Center it, you know, move it around. And next, the last thing that I have to do is I just have to change the information that's on there. Like right now it says like team one, team two. That's not relevant to me, so I'm going to change that. So right here at the top right. This is the open and sheets button. This is the unlink. You do not want to unlink. That's a no-no. What you want to do is hit open and sheets. And then once you open it, you're just going to be changing this information to whatever you want to have. So I'm talking about pizza here. So I'm going to change period one to favorite pizza. And then I'm going to go ahead and write some different kinds of pizza. up. So let's say we have cheese. Let's say... I did a survey and 10 people like cheese pizza and then we have pepperoni and five people like pepperoni and we have sausage and five people like sausage and then we have um, Hawaiian I did not spell Hawaiian right and then let's say five people like Hawaiian now this is what it would look like. It's got all this data, all maxed, all, all nice and organized. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you change the title. So right now the title says points scored. This is not points scored. This is favorite pizza. And then so now we got favorite pizza as our title. Other things you can play around with now is you can change the colors of all these things. So let's say right now Hawaiian's green. I think that's right. Sausage is yellow. Pepperoni is red. Cheese is blue. Maybe I want to change cheese to yum purple. And it's changed. So this looks great. The last thing that I have to do is I have to go back to Google Slides and I have to update it. So I'll go ahead and I'll click my presentation. Let's say I want to call this one favorite pizza. And then now all I have to do now is click update. And boom, it's done. So now let's see what it looks like. Let's say I want to make it a little bit bigger. And I want to present. So we got favorite pizza. Look, at it, it even explains right there, cheese, pepperoni, sausage. So I mean, this is a great thing to do. Like if, if you're doing a book report, if you have to take a survey, if you're doing something in class where you have to take a survey of other students, or, you know, I can see this being used for anything from kindergarten through college. So this is definitely a skill that you need to learn is how to make charts and how to explain and interpret data. That's all.